Hello and welcome back to Internet Explorer News, where we tell you stuff you probably haven't heard about. Um, recently, the, the dinosaur extinction has just occurred. Uh, Cretius Pelag Pelagone extinction event, also known as Cretius Territory extinction. Uh, six million years ago, um, the, uh, the event that caused the extinction of all non-avian dinosaurs happened by, by a huge meteor that uh, destroyed a, ma a massive amount of land and almost every ex uh, living dinosaur, so. Big news coming out of Mesopotamia. Farming has been invented in what people are now calling the Neolithic Revolution. People are saying it's the greatest thing since, um, what's, hasn't been invented yet. Yep. Oh, what's this? All right, um, just in we got the American Revolution, um, Declaration of Independence. Uh, we got Alexander Hamilton. Oh wait, he's he's dead. Um, they're all dead actually. Um, but yeah. I, I think we're done. Yeah. I think yeah. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's all we have. Well, this is has been uh, Internet Explorer News. We will see you. Of the previous week. Thank you for watching. So today we're talking about this TikTok trend that just came up on my For You page. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, so supposedly men are weirdly obsessed with the Roman Empire. So if you ask a male, they'll be like, oh yeah, I think about the Roman Empire often. How, and how I, often? Some people say like once a week. Some people say like once a day. Once a day? The Roman Empire? Yeah. Why? That's the question. Okay. Why do we think that men are weirdly obsessed with the Roman Empire? I think I think it's just like a a persona sort of persona. thing. But yeah, like it's a it's like a, a set of characteristics. Like the Roman Empire is like very much like an aesthetic. There's a, there's a conquering mentality there, kind of a, I don't know. Yeah. Like brute force, I don't know. I asked my boyfriend and he said he thinks more about like Western expansion than the Roman Empire. Hmm. But he was, he was like, yeah, I get, I get why though. Like why you would think about the Roman Empire. But for me, it's just like cowboys and horses. <laughs> I feel like the Roman Empire is like a different version of cowboys and horses, like cowboys and chariots. Yeah. Yeah. Cowboys and chariots. Yeah, basically. And a horse. Yeah. yeah. It's more horses is the common denominator probably. Yeah, it's a little less lawless. But yeah. there there's definitely a fun men fighting men thing going on. Mm. Most of the videos I've seen, um, of girls asking guys about it, they're like, Well, it was like a big part of history, which I guess is true. There are a lot yeah. of big parts of history though. Yeah, yeah exactly. So was that like toga? Was that? What, I'm gonna sound really ignorant here. Does, is that where they have the, the togas? What's the yes. outfit situation? Yeah, that's like, yeah. yeah. The Caesar, laurel leaves right? and the sandals, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe they, men men yearn for sandals. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's a hot take. Because I I'll see dogs out on campus. Yeah. And that's it's an epidemic. That's the real issue here. Yeah. And we need to get down. What <laughs> <laughs> is this issue? Oh, maybe we cracked it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Can give it, yeah. The conclusion is that UVM men should stop wearing flip flops on campus because it's really bothering me. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No one wants yeah. to see your toes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Good evening, Burlington. My name is Rob Hospital. And I'm Bob Medicine. And we're gonna be launching right into this week's top stories. So, the first story, a three-day manhunt for a murder suspect came to an end on, sus on Sunday. Uh, we're receiving live information that the victim's name was Reese, but all the police found on the scene was Reese's pieces. And uh, we also uh, have news that the North Creek Witches Dance was this past Sunday and appears again that the great Adirondack Moose Festival, which begs the question, if the witches are on tour, then who have I been seeing downtown? 
Uh, and now for a very special guest that knows a lot about a lot, Dr. Johns Hopkins University. <clears throat> How are you doing today? Um, I'm excellent, thank you. How are you, Rob? We're doing great. And we brought you on because we know that you know a lot about uh, the weather and its various cycles. So what what do you think of the weather we've been having? It's beautiful, huh? Um, yeah, it's been great, actually. Um, it's been very sunny, nice for the rats. Um, nice for the what? The, the rats. Oh, the rats. Yeah, um, I love them. Oh, cool. Um, so we're seeing some rain this upcoming week. Yeah, definitely will not be good for for rats at all. Um, they they kind of hate the rain because like when they have to go into the sewers, it gets all like flooded and stuff. So it's terrible. What do they do in the winter then? So moving away from rats, um, this fall we're looking for uh, peak tourist season in Vermont. Lots of I believe they're called leaf peepers. <clears throat> Um, what do you think that does for Burlington's economy? Uh, it probably does a lot. I mean, like, yeah, fall foliage is great. Um, I just wish people would come for what's really, like, what really matters in Vermont. And that is? The rats. Oh. Yeah. So, also this fall, uh, Vermont's a big maple state, uh, as everyone knows. And how do you feel about the great maple industry? Maple's good. Cool. Um, anything else that is on your mind? Um, yeah. To uh, Ricky, I know you're out there. My little rat friend. Stay this safe. has been Vermont Action News. I am Rob Hospital. And I'm Bob Medicine. And here we have Dr. Johns Hopkins University. And we wish you a good night. Hi. We're just going to have a conversation between three people. I'm Catherine. This is lovely Fiona Bell. We're all students at UVM. <clears throat> Where are you guys from? <laughs> I am from Bloomfield, Connecticut. Mm. It's very old, probably haunted, and mm. really boring. Haunted how? Ha well, Connecticut is like old as, as is old. <laughs> Let me tell you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> old, old Mary lives in my attic. She's dead though. Mm. She's have you have you talked to old Mary before? <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, where are you from? Oh, um, yeah. I'm from Boston. Cool. Straight um, Boston. Like actually from Boston. Wow. What street? Street? Yeah. What street right. are you from? <laughs> it's called Alaric Street. What number? <laughs> also, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch that. <laughs> 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 and my mother's maiden made name and my first pet. Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Um, 20 Old Fort Road, Cape Elizabeth, Maine. My parents still live there. Oh, cool. Mm, yeah. Wow. It's, a, it's a really lovely town. It's right next to the ocean. Wow. Um, yeah. There's a lot of woods in my backyard, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Um, that's pretty much it. Do you guys get bears a lot? We don't get bears, but our neighborhood has coyotes, actually. My neighborhood has coyotes. Yeah. So it's really bad. It's really bad. My, mm -hmm. my dog. Um, is like kind of part coyote. Like we did a DNA test and her, her grandparents are coyotes. And so there's like contention with her and the natural coyotes wow. in our neighborhood. That's, a, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I once came uh, almost face to face with a bear. Really? There's a lot of bears in my neighborhood. Um, yeah, it was summer like two years ago and I, it was really, really hot. Mm -hmm. So we got like an inflatable kiddie pool and I was in the kiddie pool and my brother comes out and is like, I need you to come inside right now. Mm -hmm. Because there was a bear like two feet behind me about to get in the pool. Wow. Um, were you were in the pool? I was in the pool. It wow. wasn't seeing it. I had my back to the bear. It's a That's pool. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well I go in the house and then we're all my whole family's gathered around the window looking at the pool and the and the bear just goes right in the pool. Uh, wow. It broke it. We had just of gotten course. it like the day before. Inflatable. Inflatable. Yeah. It chewed on it. And yeah. It ex exploded the pool. Wow. But it sat in there for like two hours. That's so Aww. lovely. My yeah. closest encounter with a wild animal is like a little bit of a flex. I was attacked by a rabid fox when I was younger uh, at my daycare. Um, at your daycare? Yeah, yeah, the daycare was called Funny Farm. Um, so it was like 
kind of inevitable. Um, there were like chickens and goats um, and its mane and there was a Did fox. You sue? No, we didn't mm -hmm. sue. We really liked them. Um, and I just went to a different preschool. That was, a lot of people left that preschool, um, which makes sense. But also it was just, it was just nature. Nature happens. Animals get rabid and attack young children. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have a close encounter with a wild animal? There was a coyote on my front, <laughs> on my front steps. Um, it was actually infamous. Like the neighborhood Facebook group would like follow it and mm. track it. And then, yeah, once it was on my steps and I couldn't get out of the car, I had to like keep slamming the door so it would leave. Maybe scary. Um, but unfortunately, people noticed. People would start posting that he was started limping and then ultimately Aww. the trail dropped so that's so we sad. actually lost contact with the west roxbury coyote <laughs> my my neighborhood also has a facebook group and we also send videos and sightings of coyotes like wherever they are in the neighborhood um we're getting signals okay. that we have actually 30 seconds left not time to wrap up <laughs> <laughs> false alarm it's okay <laughs> yeah maybe we could just do 30 seconds of silence. <laughs> mindfulness? Yeah, yeah mindfulness. Start. We didn't do like it today. Miles taught us. Okay, ready? We can use this time. 30 seconds of mindfulness on camera might make me start crying. Okay, that's okay. It'd be awesome. We welcome it. Ready? Thank you, everybody. That's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Louder. Oh, <wow. laughs>